I've always been fascinated by the incredible ways our bodies adapt to different situations. Today, we're going to explore what happens when you fast for 36 hours. It's not just about skipping meals. It's a journey that takes your body through remarkable changes. Are you ready to discover how your organs respond to this challenge? The 36 hour fasting challenge. Let's start our journey at hour zero. You've just finished your last meal. Your body is processing those nutrients. But as time passes, things start to change. Around 12 hours in, your body has used up most of the easily accessible glucose. This is when your blood sugar levels begin to drop. In response, your pancreas reduces insulin production. Now you might be thinking, what happens next? How does my body get energy? Well, that's where your liver steps in. It's like a backup generator, kicking into action when the main power source is depleted. Your liver starts producing ketones, an alternative fuel source made from stored fat. This process called ketogenesis becomes your body's primary energy strategy. But here's the fascinating part. As ketone levels rise, they don't just provide energy. They also trigger a cascade of changes throughout your body. Your brain, for instance, begins to use these ketones for fuel, which leads us to our next chapter about the mind-body connection during fasting. Mind and body transformation. As we enter the later stages of our 36-hour fast, let's focus on what's happening in your brain. The ketones produced by your liver aren't just fuel, they're like brain food. Many people report increased mental clarity and focus during fasting. It's as if your brain is switching to a cleaner, more efficient energy source. But the benefits don't stop there. Your immune system gets a boost too. Fasting triggers a process called autophagy, where your cells start cleaning house. They break down old damaged components and recycle them. It's like your body is doing a deep clean, getting rid of cellular junk and potentially reducing inflammation. As we conclude our 36-hour fasting journey, it's important to remember that while fasting can have potential benefits, it's not for everyone. If you're considering a long fast, always consult with a healthcare professional first. Certain conditions or medications might make fasting unsafe, but for those who can safely fast, it's a fascinating way to explore the incredible adaptability of the human body. Have you ever tried fasting? Let me know in the comments below.